Baguette, part one. Hey, Baguette. <laughs> Must be potato chip. Yep. Hope you had a nice flight. Why did you call? <clears throat> Do you know somebody named Bread? <laughs> Congratulations! What's your secret to being named the best barbershop five years in a row? Oh, there's nothing to it, really. Just a pair of eyes that can see the customer's soul, plus a creative but also genius brain, and ten fingers that make magic. Wow! Ha huh? <laughs> Something like that, I guess. <laughs> You're so cool. This wraps up the interview for today, sir. <clears throat> and what does this young gentleman do? <gasps> Uh, Wilk does, well, he mostly drops things. It's what he does best. <gasps> See what I tell you? Uh, uh, right. And what does the young lady over there do? Hmm? Choco's our cashier, but she's always shopping online. <gasps> I'm a cool boss. <laughs> <laughs> well then, how about we gather the employees for a photo? That's not necessary. You just need one. I'm the owner of this shop, after all. <laughs> hey, Bread! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. That chip. What on earth do you want? Did I hear right? You're the best in town. <laughs> what a laugh. Why, you! Huh? Hmm. Bread says he's great, but there's someone else who's even huh? better. He just came from the Barber's Academy in France, Mr. Baguette! Ah! Hey, it's... It's been a while. Do you remember me? You know, he defeated every barber shop in Paris, uh, so he's basically the best in the world. Better than this crusty old bread man! Baguette? I've never heard of him. Who's he? Wow! Your reputation's incredible! Do you mind showing a sample for the viewers back home? No way! Ugh. Mr. Baguette's a busy man. He has no time. Huh? <laughs> Holy cheese! I've never felt so cute. That's just amazing, sir! <gasps> How do you like that? Maybe you can learn a thing from the world's best, huh? <laughs> I know. What if we held a contest to see who was the best barber in town once and for all? Oh, yeah! Audiences love a game show. Let's start right now. Start recording. The network will eat this stuff up. <laughs> Mr. Bread, are you ready to go? This guy looks like he might be really good. Ha, please. Piece of cake. After all, I beat him once years ago. Huh? I remember like it was yesterday. Oh. Welcome back, sir. Hello. There's someone I'd like you to meet, Baguette. Hi. Bread will be starting here as an apprentice with us as of today. Be kind. Nice to meet you. Oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I... Watch it, kid. Oh. Oh. Huh? Brilliant. Too brilliant. The time has come for me to retire now. One of you will take over the shop from me today. You will compete to see who wins ownership of the store. <laughs> that kid might be good, but he's only worked here a couple of months. He's no match for the skills I've honed over a decade. Huh? Ah. Oh. 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 Incredible! Uh. Well done, Bread. Uh. You have a talent I've never seen before. The student uh. truly has exceeded the master. 
That was the last I heard from him before he showed up here. Don't fear. I'll beat Baguette just like I did before. And we're back. The hottest battle between the two barbershop rivals is about to start. Whoever creates the most impressive hairstyle in a limited amount of time will be the winner. Ready? Start! Now I'd like to finish my tea first. <laughs> 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 Ah, ah. Wait, what just happened? He did it so fast I missed it. And it looks awesome. Oh, wow! It looks like we have our winner! The best barber is... Baguette! Wow! <laughs> well, do you have anything you'd like to say to the audience? Oh! Uh. Fred, you're just the same as you were all those years ago. Uh. Pathetic. What? What are you? Oh! Hey, folks, if you want Mr. Baguette to do your hair, then come to Potato Chips Hair Salon. It's faster and better than Bread mm -hmm. Barbershop could ever be. Baguette! <laughs> Baguette! Baguette! Uh, Baguette! Just watch some TV and relax. Hmm. Ah! Bread's just old news. Yes, and he's arrogant too. The hottest place in town is Potato Chip Hair Shop, home of the genius barber, Baguette. Uh, uh, something else. Since he was just a bun in the oven, Baguette has tirelessly honed his craft. His perseverance has made him exceed his peers tenfold. Ah! Get out now! Mr. Uh, uh, Brad, please open the door! Sir? Sir? Bread and Baguette, part two. I can't He's wait to so see cool him. And Didn't this guy oh, beat Bread in a contest a while back? I heard he graduated top of his class in Paris. Since Baguette came, Potato Chip Hair Shop is the place to be! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> nice! You definitely have that Parisian flair! <laughs> I'd like to pay now! Here's the bill! <gasps> Two thousand?! What is this price? Mm -hmm. How dare you! Holly! Huh? You should have checked the prices when you came in! But that's ten times higher than last week's prices were. Ha! <laughs> Don't bother coming in if you can't afford it. What are we supposed to do? There's no other barber shop in town. That's not the problem! Pay up or get out! <laughs> he knows he's the only place in town, but he raises his price so much. Come on down! Again? Jeez, kid. How many more plates can you possibly break? Does this look like a Greek place to you? You're fired! Oh, got fired again. Normal Wednesday. <laughs> no place comes close to working at the bread barber shop. <laughs> I wonder what Chuckle and Master Bread are doing. Welcome to Bakery Land, where dreams come true. Have a magical day. <laughs> Welcome in. Dreams come true. Choco! <laughs> Choco! Oh. Hi, friends. Ugh. Gross. Wilk, been a minute. You're working at the theme park? That's great! Yeah, it's magical. What about yourself? Me? I was working at the taco restaurant. But I got fired. Huh? Anyway, huh? this job must be fun. <laughs> Welcome to Bakery Land, where dreams come true. They make me stand in the hot sun all day with no breaks, I'm getting burned, my arms hurt from waving, and the kids are horrible. But other than that, it's peachy. <laughs> Mom, my head itches. You'll be fine. Haircuts are expensive. We can't afford it. But I need a new haircut. It's stinky. What's going on there? Word has it, potato chip hair shop raised their prices tenfold. They're a monopoly now, so nobody has money to get their hair done. That's terrible! 
Mr. Brent would fix this. You know what? We should find where he is and bring him back. You're right. I heard someone saw him near the <gasps> dump. The dump? Isn't that a bad part of town? <sighs> 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 You bratty kids, that's not very nice. Ooh, I misspelled milk, I'm so scared. Hmm. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, that is one scary muffin. <laughs> Sir! Hmm. Uh, Mr. Bread, this is not the life for you. Potato Chip <laughs> raised all the prices at his shop, and nobody has anywhere else to go. Bakery Town needs you to come back again, sir. We need to run that chip out. <laughs> The bread you knew has reached its expiration date. <sighs> Come on. Hey, didn't you once run a barbershop? Those days are gone. You might not remember, but a long time ago I was looking for a bathroom. I ducked into this barbershop to ask about him. Even though I was dirty and didn't have any money, this guy made me look like a whole new bread. I remember how good I felt leaving the shop that day. You should be living in this junkyard. Go on back. <sighs> when are they gonna leave? And they only ordered one soda. How can we persuade Master Bread to come back? Huh. You can't convince someone like that guy. Did you two used to work at the Bread Barber Shop? Mm -hmm. It's it's him. Master Bread. Uh. <laughs> Master Bread. We found someone who wanted to come mm -hmm. and speak with you. Not this again. I'm never going back. You won't change my mind. Do you remember uh, me, sir? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's you. Meet my wife and my son. I heard a lot about you, sir. Is that the hero guy? Yes, the magnificent ah. barber I told you all about. <laughs> uh, uh. Even though the crown hair you gave me didn't last forever, you gave me the confidence I needed to make something of myself. Master Brad, you may not know it, but you've helped a lot. Hi there. My son's doing great in school. I want to be a barber like he is! <laughs> Today I won Best Actor at the Bakery Film Festival. None of it would have happened without you. No. I'm the prettiest pie in the whole prison system. I want to get a haircut! Lord, pal. I'm getting married in a month, all thanks to you! Can you do my bridal hair, too? <laughs> you helped the people of this town immensely, sir. And I found something that might be useful. Hey, it's Hobo Bread! Scissors are a little dull. There's much work to do. Wilk, Chunko, let's go. <laughs> a pair of scissors is only as good as the hands that wield them. Boiling sugar provides the training one needs to hone the perfect sense of touch. Only the most sensitive hands can find a single grain of sugar amongst millions. The best barber requires the best eyesight. Blinking is weakness! Weakness! Uh, 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 you win! You win again! Uh, Hairstyling requires stamina. I must hone my body to perfection. Nothing less will do. Like a dough that rises in the yeast, I will rise triumphant! Uh, 
knows more than you. He was just off before. He'll win for sure. Baguette train many more years. Baguette is just mm -hmm. long bread. <laughs> hey, Baguette is gonna battle Master Fred again. I hope Master oh. Red kicks his buns. It's been months since I got a new dude. I can't oh. afford potato chip shops. Same here. Red better open back up as soon as possible. Let's cheer him up. Oh. We should show him we all can. Oh. That's a great idea. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlebreds, may we now present the battle between bread and baguette tonight! Oh! He's more than just long French bread. The mysterious elite newcomer, Baguette! And from the other grocery aisle, that classic neighborhood staple, Red! The battle of the century rages. Only one will emerge as the greatest barber of their time. Round one's theme, speed! Modern businesses must be fast. These two must race against the clock and each other. The first to complete all five hairdos will win! Master Bren, do it! Mm-hmm. Easy as pie. No need to worry. Round one, start! <laughs> How did he even do that? Incredible! The first round winner is... Fred! I knew Master Fred would win! First round in the bag. Mm -hmm. Looks like someone's been holding their game. What's the problem, huh? pal? Are you gonna lose to that stale old man? On to round two! Round two's theme is filling up a tart. This round is a team effort. If they want to win, they'll need their whole crew to work together. Uh, uh, round two, start! Strawberry, <laughs> Kiwi! Yes, Master Fred! Champ, <laughs> 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 pass me the mango and grapes. Huh? You can't boss your boss around. Uh, I don't care about that. Don't you want to beat Fred? <laughs> Mr. Fred's breath thinks he's fancy. <laughs> hmm. Hurry up, we're about to lose! Yeah, yeah, I'm going as fast as I can. There's no time, just throw it! Throw it all? Me! Uh, 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 oh. What was that? What? You said to throw! Not all at once, use your hands! Not my fault you can't catch! Uh, I'm up! Amazing work! Again, the winner of this round is Master Fred! Master Fred, great job! You just have to win one more time. With that, let's prepare for tonight's final round. This last round will truly require all these barbers' training. Got for this one. Speed, teamwork, and an eye for design are a must. That's it! It all comes down to this. Let us begin! 
Let's figure out how to do this. That'll be no issue. Every good barber has a cherry picker lying around. One could say you're on your way to the top, forget it? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Speed up or something? It's a safety feature! The old Master Fred is back. better than ever. <laughs> back at! What gas? Why are you done yet? Hurry in! Master Brett is putting on the beautiful finishing touches. And Baguette is also doing something. Uh, this is bad. Brett won't win that easy. <gasps> Master Brett! Oh dear, what's happened? Brett looks plain worn out. <laughs> Hurry it up! Now's our chance! He's done for! <laughs> What's happened to him? He's gonna run out of time! No! Get up! You have to, sir! You have to be back at and open up your barber shop again! Master Bread! Master Bread! Master huh? Bread! Master Bread! Master, Master Bread! Master Bread! Master Bread! Master Bread! Master Bread! Master Bread! Everyone's standing behind Master Brad. Wait, what the? Uh, 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 what's this? Cake is a true work of art. I declare the winner, Master Brad! Oh my goji berries! It's just so cute! You really are the best in the world. <laughs> You're very kind, ma'am. This place is so cool. How long has it been open? I love the quaint old school style. Oh, many years, I suppose. Well, I'm extremely happy with what you've done here. I'm gonna tell all my friends about this place. Oh, <laughs> that's very nice to hear, ma'am. Chips, chip. Chip. Uh, just another day without a customer. Excuse me, is uh, this a salon? Huh? <laughs> sure is, sir. Uh, this is the best barber shop in town, run by the one and only Potato Chip. <gasps> Look, babe, uh, over there, uh, red barber shop. Does. Hey, I've heard that Master Bread, who works there, is supposed to be the best. He is. There's no greater barber in the whole world. I heard that if you don't reserve an appointment two months in advance, you can't get uh, in. I want him to do my hair. Hurry, <laughs> let's go stand in line. I can't believe we almost went to this place. <laughs> Brad! That guy's ruining my life. If only I could control that stupid stale slice up. Huh? Hang on. Yeah, I've got it. You're done for, Brad. <laughs> Uh, 
It's finally done! This computer chip will allow me to control Bread wherever he goes. The control chip goes on me right here. And I just need some way to stick this on Bread's forehead. Then he'll do whatever I tell him to. Time to practice my master plan. Yeah! Ooh, awesome! Excellent! <laughs> Now go and plant yourself on that crusty old wheat. Well, Bread, your business is about to expire. <laughs> you know, I can't bring my first bell. Okay. Welcome to Bread Barber Shop. Uh, disgusting. Who let a fly in here? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 huh? Ah, it worked! It really worked! <laughs> Think of all the fun I'll have now! Watch out, Fred! First things first, let's ruin that face. Uh, 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 <gasps> what the? Hey, uh, are you good? Mr. Bread, uh, what are you doing, sir? Do what? you like to dance? Cause here's a boogie! Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> now they've both lost their marbles. <laughs> There's more where that came from. <laughs> is that how he normally is? I think he's finally lost it from working too hard. The pain is worth it to sabotage bread. Uh, uh, I need a quick break. Sabotage requires hydration. Uh, uh, wait, don't make him drink water. <laughs> Only the hot sauce for bread. <laughs> oh, 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 Master Bread, don't do this to yourself. Uh, uh, how do you like that? You'll be suffering in no time. But there's even more options. <laughs> Wasabi down the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Master Bread, are you okay? Master Bread! Uh, well, surely everyone thinks you're off your rocker by now. But even that is not enough. I want to make sure I ruin his entire business. Aha! So what if he raises the employees' salaries? Surely he'll lose tons of money fast if he does that. All right. Your employees are going to make ten times more. Mr. Bread, what's wrong with you? Please say something, sir. Uh, Master, huh? Uh, uh, A new contract. Sign it now. New? <laughs> Employee pay. All wages increase tenfold starting today. <gasps> He's lost it. Every time he has to pay us, he cries all the way home. Plus, everyone. Uh, can only work four oh, hours a day. Something he leaks without seeing the inside of my house. There's more. No way. Once a month, employees will receive bonuses and vacation time. Oh, Master Bread! <laughs> Just tell us if he did something wrong. Don't play these mind games. I don't understand. Come on. Just sign it already. <laughs> Just perfect. Your business will crumble when you waste all your money on your staff. Huh? Why are there so many customers? For tonight's top story, a shop where employees work harder than their boss. So inspiring. What motivates your staff in your work? Brett has shown us that he's a boss who cares about us, and so we should work harder. Huh? Be right there. Yeah. Huh? <sighs> Welcome to Bread Barbershop. Thank you for coming today. You can choose any hairstyle you like and we'll be with you shortly. Thanks. <laughs> Their service is over the top. What a lovely place to work. Mix, 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 mix. Are there any complaints about working at the Bread Barbershop? I can't talk right now. I have to work. Ugh. I'll make a thousand cans of cream by the time the day is done. Welcome to Bread Barber Shop. Please. Oh, I've never seen such hard work in my whole life. Uh, no way. Yeah, I tried to make bread go broke, but I ended up making everyone happier. No time for this. Bread, cut all your prices by 50%. Oh, 
haircuts are now 50% off. <laughs> yep, our boss has gone cuckoo. <laughs> I've always wanted to come here, but was never able to afford it before today. You've made an old woman's dreams come true. <laughs> I used to tell my kids to cut their own hair to save on costs, but now I can have theirs done by a professional. Wait, it's so cool. Super cool. Well, seems Fred Barbershop's never been more popular. His generosity is becoming famous throughout town. Uh, he's supposed to be broke, but nothing is going my way! Stupid popular loaf of bread! Uh, here's what I'll do. Make him throw away everything he loves. Bread, take your car keys and throw them away! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks to your generous donation, we'll be able to take the orphans to picnics and school outings. Thank, thank you, you for, for the cars! <laughs> <laughs> I can take more away from your life. Bread, you're gonna give away the deed to your very house! As mayor of Bakery Town, I give you my thanks. Your house will make a wonderful new nursing home. Thank you, Bread, such a kind man. It just warms my old heart. <laughs> Why could I never win? He's doing better than ever! This isn't fair! It's time to take things to the extreme. Throw every last penny you make away! Bakery Town's very own hero, Bread. Your selflessness is an inspiration to us all. I hereby make you a knight. I heard that only one Bread every 100 years gets knighted. Well, there's no one who deserves it more. <laughs> now, our hero statue will be revealed. All his wealth was donated. The most selfless bread in the whole world. His name will be in the history books for all time. Yeah! They, they made a statue of him out of gold? Long live bread! Long live bread! Long live bread! Long live bread! Uh, okay, bread. Guess I'll have to use my last resort. <laughs> Brad, you're gonna go get the deed to your business and come outside and give it to me! Yes! The Brad Barber Shop will soon be mine! Brad Barber, Brad Barber Shop now belongs to, to Chip! <laughs> 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 Oh, my head. What's going on? Master uh, Red! Master Red! Uh, Master uh, Red! What's gotten Master into you? Red! Hey! Uh, put me down! Red! This hurts Master my back! Hey! I'll sue every last one of you! Stop this merriment right now! Uh. One year later. Mom? What's that big statue of? Why, that's the hero of Bakery Town. His name is Bread. Maybe you'll grow up to be a hero and a generous man <laughs> just like him. Huh? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves Bread. Potato Chip loves him so much he's polishing the statue for free. Wow, what an awesome guy! I want to be just like Bread when I grow up. Can I, Mom? Of course, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> the Barber's Apprentices. Welcome to Bread Barber Shop. Choco, let's get a move on. Sure. Where on earth did Wilk go and what's keeping him so long? Mr. Bread! Huh? <laughs> Wilk, you better have an explanation for this. But, sir, look who I've brought with me. Bread, it's been quite some time. Oh, <laughs> Master, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Well, I had some errands to do in Bakery Town, you see. We met in Moldy Breadburg, and I brought him here. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything seems to be in order here. <laughs> well, of course, I was taught by the best. <laughs> oh, who might this be? Allow me to introduce my new pupil. This is Melon Bread. How do you do? Mm. Your new pupil? Mm. After I handed my shop over to you, 
I decided to take some time off. Huh? Ha! Ha! Ah! Again! <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too! Hey, she's not finished with me. Oh. I couldn't ignore such raw talent, so I decided to teach her. Wow, what a story! Your talent really did blow me away. Hi there, my name is Wilk. Um, I think we should be friends. Uh, hmm. Huh? <laughs> Talk about a cold melon. That's how kids are these days. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit peckish after the trip. Oh, of course you are. Don't worry, Master. We'll make you a feast fit for a king. <laughs> I'll grill up some meat. And I'll fix us something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pleasure to see you and your shop so successful. <laughs> it's all thanks to your teachings. By the by, I was quite impressed with your assistant. Why, he turned those super molds into supermodels. Oh, Will? Cross knows I've tried my hardest to teach that milk toast. Hmm. In that case, why don't we let Melon Bread and Wilk have a hair battle? Huh? <gasps> Melon Bread has journeyed from town to town, training to be the best barber. And I suspect this battle will teach them both something. Well, <laughs> still, with no time to uh, prepare. I'd love to. Uh, I mean, uh, I have a ton to learn from Melon uh, Bread. Uh, Wilk! Well, <laughs> we'll meet you tomorrow in the empty parking lot. Uh, Until tomorrow, then. Have a nice evening. See you tomorrow. Oh. Mr. Bread, are you all right? By the way, isn't uh, Melon Bread something? Uh, I got to see her uh, in action and she is a genius. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, shall we let the battle commence? Yes, uh, I think I'm ready. Hmm. Yes. For the first round, you will carve the coconut. Uh, a coconut? Mmm. A true barber can turn solid rock into living art with their very hands. The mm. first to finish their art carving into the coconut wins the round. Ready, set, begin! How am I supposed to carve through this hard shell? Hmm. Huh. I'll use this instead of scissors. Yeah, let's do this! Who uses scissors on a coconut? At least I'm using my melon. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, she drilled a detailed carving into a coconut in a matter of minutes. You've done very well. I'm honored, sir. <laughs> For gluten's sake! <laughs> oh, Wilk! Carving a coconut with a pair of scissors? Can't you do anything right? <laughs> and the winner is... Melon Bread, of course. Wilk, my boy, why did you use the scissors? Well, of course I knew it would be easier to use the drill. But when I pictured the coconut as a customer's head, I couldn't bring myself to carve it with a drill. Oh, so that's why. All right, enough dilly-dallying. For the second round, chocolate syrup hunt! The first to bring back a warm, fresh batch of chocolate syrup will be declared the winner! What? Huh? But I'm a stranger to this neighborhood. I don't know where to begin to find uh, a... Hmm? I think I know huh? a place. Let's go huh? together! Oh, uh. Here it is, the best huh? chocolate syrup factory in Bakery huh? Town. Oh, hmm. Good afternoon huh? to you, sir. Hi there, uh. Wilk. Sir, hmm? might we get a freshly made, piping hot batch of chocolate syrup? Oh, what sticky timing. You see, it's lunchtime now and everyone's on their break. Just hold on for a little bit. I'll be back soon. Sure, have a nice lunch. Their chocolate syrup is made from 100% pure. <laughs> oh, melon bread, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Wait, I'm going goodness, to grab a batch safe. myself. <sighs> Let's do this. I've got it! Wilk? Did you fall in? Trying to save me? I'm so sorry! Huh? Wilk? I'm okay. I'm a milk carton so I can float. Now you go ahead. 
I'll catch up soon. Huh? Hmm. Uh, 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 looks like I made it. Uh, melon bread. I can't believe that you waited for me. No one's gonna say that I cheated my way to the top. Uh, you can play it cool, but I can tell you've got a warm mm -hmm. heart. What? Hey, you can stand there and keep babbling, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> hey, Master Bread, we're back! Huh? <laughs> At the same time? And what took you so long? <laughs> Funny story. I was clumsy and fell into the syrup barrel. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? In that case, huh? we'll have to call this round a draw. A draw? Does that mean I won? No. The last yeah. round will determine who wins. The ultimate feat. The 100-tier uh, fruit uh, tower. 100-tier fruit tower? Impossible. The first to make a tower with 100 uh, tiers wins the match. Let the final match begin. In order to build a tower that tall, I will start with the largest fruit at the base. Huh. Hmm. Well, watermelons, it's you and me. Cantaloupes above them. And then the pineapples. Melon bread seems to have a great hmm. stacking tactic. Hmm, indeed. Uh, looks like I'm going to take this home. Almost. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Huh? Oh. Oh. My head. What in the gluten was he thinking? Oh, you imbecile. Hmm? You had no tactics. No wonder it <laughs> collapsed. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Huh. I completed the task. I can't believe she completed it so quickly. Astonishing. A job well done. Wilk, mm -hmm. you can come down. The match is over. Uh, already? Let's have a look at Wilk's tower, shall uh. we? What am I even looking at? It has no tears. It has no shape. Did you have any plan at all? Hmm. I hereby declare the winner is Melon Bread. <laughs> Nitwit! You didn't even win a single round! I'm sorry I let you down, sir. Tomorrow we're going to start back at square one! Sir, I'll try my very best, sir! Bread, mm. you keep taking good care of the barbershop. I will, sir. Hey, Melon Bread, congratulations on winning! <laughs> you were a worthy opponent. I'm going to work so hard so I can challenge you again next time. Does that sound like a deal? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds like a good deal to me. All right, now, we'd better go or else we'll miss our train. Uh, have a safe journey, you two. Bye, Melon <laughs> Well, now that you've battled Wilk, how do you measure his skills? At first, I thought he was just a clumsy, inept milk carton. But then I realized what a fair, kind heart he has. Still, I'm not very sure hmm? he'll ever be a real barber. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Unlike you, Wilk didn't use a drill in the first round. Instead, he used scissors because he thought of that coconut as the client's head. But... but that... And then in the second round, as you know, Wilk was kind enough to help out his opponent. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> There's no way you would have chosen to return together. <laughs> For the last round, Wilk could have finished quickly by stacking the fruit as you did. But it took him longer because he was trying to come up with a meaningful design. Here, take a look. Huh? That child was making a 100-tier statue. The outcome of the match isn't what's important. It's how you respond afterwards, whether you win or lose. You won this battle fair and square, but I'm curious to see who wins next time. <laughs> Time to go! Ooh. Master Bread! Uh, 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 you waited for me all this time? You're the best! Um, I wasn't waiting for you, I just dozed <laughs> off. Master Bread, wait for me! Here I come! <laughs> <laughs>